past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Okay. Where's the hair? <laughs> That's what I want to see. That's not Jewel, is it? You're a dog! Shut the fuck up! Listen, I talk! Artyom! What's going on? Very stupid! <laughs> Kill them! Just because I socked that guy for hitting that girl. Oh, we started this fight. I thought I killed two guys up here on this stairwell. Missing something? I was supposed to be going that way. Hostile! Over there! See the energy on the enemy! Can't see the hostile! The enemy's in that path! The enemy was hiding up there! I see him, people! He's on that ladder now! Can't get 
that way either. So, back here again. guy here. Get out of the way. He said something about a ladder I had to give. So confused. They shooting at me again, but I don't see where they're at. Right? Where are they? Be missing some. Must be a must be a ladder or somewhere that I'm missing. Should be able to get through this door right here. Here we go. I didn't get that indicator before.
just killing you. <laughs> wow. Cover me! Reload! I don't know. I ran out of ammunition and nothing I was doing seemed to be working, so I figured I'd just let them kill me. Oh, this game is so tedious. <laughs> so tedious. Now we got to start this fight all over again, I bet. First thing I want to do. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. Uh, got me again. I don't know. He's one of these guys that's going to be hard to kill. Uh, I guess I don't have any kind of... <laughs> got me pinned up here. <laughs> they had me pinned up and I keep... guy with this damn automatic weapon is just kicking my ass. Yeah, it took time. It took me enough times to figure out how to kill this damn dude. I guess the only way I could do it was to burn him. Whoa! Oh, impressive. So, this is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! 
She was supposed to unlock some kind of door for me the whole time. Well, let's give it a shot, Artyom. Wait a minute, man. I'm trying to collect Come ammunition. On, All that ammo and st stuff I used up trying to kill that one dude. Artyom. Oh, shut up. Got jewel, don't he? If you shoot him, she'll die. Job, your head's in the way. I love it. This game is so crazy. <laughs> you gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Shaky cam, shaky cam. Your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Oh, just be honest. You just stay in there because of Jewel. That's Go, all. Artyom. Follow your dream. <laughs> You're oh, back, my love. Anna. Thank I you. was so worried. I'm glad you shot that dude because I was worried too. <laughs> They blow it up. Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster, the inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Stay a little longer, but that you music know, was stopped. I don't get it. I've been MCA looking for. at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. <laughs> 
Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly, because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wonder how long she'll go on if I don't stop her. <laughs> that harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go. And where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Well, that's good, Anna. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Okay. All that talking made her tired, huh? Oh, let's see. I can, I can leave. Well, do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got married or something, right? Or he proposed. I can't get by these guys. Be by. Let me by. There we go. Thank you, boys. Well, that was an unforgettable show. Katya, I have kept silent for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. He is incredible. 
disgustingly nice and kind of Yes, no, indeed. I, as a misanthrope of North, am a wall. <laughs> I noticed that already. He is incredibly hard. Uh, that's just slander. They are jealous. Artie, sit somewhere nearby. I've been standing there like 10 minutes. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything, Anna. <laughs> Missed me trying to get over there and turn that DMCA music off. Half a year on the road and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. Oh, that's a big plate of bacon over there. What else is in that plate? Right, people. I do understand. I can't Bacon keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much <laughs> deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. They just go on and on too much. <laughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proved, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So... Congratulations! Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Step on, Katya. Oh, Prince! Step on, Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. For richer, for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Anna's got some kind of serious lung problem. She's either got tuberculosis or she's got some kind of Radiation sick. Look, she just spit up a whole bunch of blood. She probably got tuberculosis. Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please. Don't cover her. her. Give her air. Damn. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't have How lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Gotcha, Artyom. I 